So what's going on, Toxic Gamers? Today, we're just gonna laugh, okay? They got, Ubisoft got the BBC Samurai on his knees, praying right now that that don't get canceled. But you never know, you never know, ladies and gentlemen. Apparently, we got some stuff that went down and it's a sucky situation. The homie Muda Heart cannot believe it, okay? Cannot believe it. And some of you folks might also not believe it. I guess that's a psych. <laughs> That's the psych right now, because everybody's believing the story. You better believe it, ladies and gentlemen. You better believe it. The homie Asmund Gold looking like this. Ubisoft, I mean, damn, man. This like is alright. Ubisoft got the homie looking like this, man. Absolute crazy situation that is going down. Like the video if you love your mama. Like the video if you love God. Let's go for three likes on the video, ladies and gentlemen, because tonight it's gonna be a tough one, man. It's a, it's a doozy. I, I wish I could say psych. I really wish I could say psych. But damn, man, a couple of years ago, we had video games looking like this right but today well uh what what else can i say man it'd be what it be okay you got 2014 right there okay so we got 2014 mommy you got 2024 mommy which one you want let me know in the comments but apparently this video is about this one so tom came out and i got a video clip that i want to share with you ubisoft's board is launching an investigation into the company yeah and yeah like people are like selling popcorn right now for a buck 50 for all the commenters uh, like if you're commenting in the comment section there's a high chance that we might have more people selling popcorns for the commentators like uh, for the commenters my bad. not for the commentators the commentators are getting nothing right now but <laughs> i mean the commentators making more money than you we saw right now man like i don't even know how that works man. but or at least uh, that's an exaggeration but the commentators the youtubers have made more money covering the Concord drama, uh, I, I believe also the Dustboard drama, than the devs themselves. I don't even know. Don't ask me how that works, guys, but that is apparently the reality. Earlier today, th we're not gonna, like, talk in depth about it because I'm sure people are aware about it, right? Like, everybody heard about it. But the biggest shocker here is this, that they're launching their own investigation, and, yeah, they delayed the game, though. They delayed the game, but, guys, they delayed the game. Yeah, man, that's not even a psych moment. We all saw that coming, right? Some people... Th this is like a Mandela effect that was supposed to happen, essentially, okay? A lot of people like, holy crap, this is the Mandela, Mandela effect. Like, people apparently believe that that was gonna happen. Some people are already believing that it's gonna get fully cancelled. We'll see what happens. I don't think it's gonna get fully cancelled, though. It is getting cancelled on the internet, don't get me wrong. But another situation that went down, which is absolute insanity, that I wanna talk about. Of course, like, this is one thing. So Ubisoft is now admitting that Star Wars Outlaw sales softer than expected as it slashes net expected booking by 30 percent damn so softer means disaster let me translate that real quick it means disaster it means that it did garbage it did poorly it was so trash uh, so they're using the word softer but another thing to note here is that uh, apparently ubisoft also admitted that they are not trying to push an agenda they admitted that we're gonna get down to it guys like the video if you love your mama like the video if you love God, uh, shout out to the homie Yellow Flesh, roll it. Well, Ubisoft is the gift Wait that keeps on giving today. They put out another statement. This time, they admitted that Star Wars sales are softer than expected, as it slashes net expected bookings by 30%. It's worse than they're saying it is. I promise you it's worse than they're saying it is. This thing has fallen off of the charts after one month. I did a video on that yesterday. Check it out. It's almost completely yeah. off the top 40 <laughs> for PlayStation games. And it's yeah. only been out a month. Hogwarts Legacy is selling better. <laughs> Wait for it. <laughs> this game, this game is pretty much defeated now it might pick back up like i said black friday i expect this game to almost be half off i was saying 40 bucks you might see it get knocked down to 30 dollars and i think 30 dollars uh, yeah what, what yeah for 30 dollars would you buy i mean like for 30 yeah i guess and, uh, I, I think they should make it three dollars then maybe yeah, yeah. yeah three dollars i think that's a deal that's a deal is it a deal let me know if it's a deal man i want to know like where you guys are like where you at you watching where you at man i want to know where you at and guys keep selling popcorn for a buck 50 if people can sell popcorn for a buck 50 for the comment section these seconds can make the game for three dollars man come on man that's a deal right there that's a deal and a half right there this is a fair price point for this game that's fair uh, yeah ubisoft doesn't agree but 30 bucks if you want to check it out i don't think 30 dollars is a bad price to pay uh, uh, but uh, that uh, okay realistically 20 Let, how about that let's make a temporary truce let's make it 20 is not going to help anything this game they i would love to know how much they actually lost on this and it's only going to continue to get worse they put out a statement saying we're we're committed to fixing the game yeah. we're, we're going to put out tons of patches make sure that this game is is ready to go while you've already finished it in most cases so they're still working on it putting it out there i've said it a couple of times a lot of these games 
exist to be beta tests for the consumer. Like you now pay to be a game tester in a lot of ways. Yeah, it was a broken yeah, piece yeah. of shit. At least they admit. <laughs> but the other statement that they put out was even more telling, and that's that they seem to recognize that they've got a problem, a big problem. Uh, a lot of people have been taking aim at Ubisoft over the past couple of months because it's pretty obvious that they've been pushing yeah. a specific agenda. A lot of people. Hey, hey, whoa, whoa, tranquilo. Yo, time out, puppy. Yo, time out. Chill quick, man. Ubisoft CEO Eve Gilmo says that our goal is not to push any specific agenda. Are you sure about that one, man? Are you sure about that? Do you want me to pull the evidence? So I'm just gonna talk about this one right here, man. Th this thing is crazy. By the way, guys, if you do use Twitter, I would definitely love to have you there. Link is in the, the top and comment below. Real quick, shout out to all of you guys out there. Shout out to all of you, like, stud muffins out there for following over on the Instagrams out there, man. Shout out to you guys, man. You guys crazy. If you guys have an Instagram, I would love to have you there. Recently, I've been trying to improve, man. Recently, I've been trying to improve. So I would definitely love to have you there, but... Okay, let's believe it for a second that they're not pushing an agenda and uh, pushing an agenda. Let's let's wait well, for I've it. Noticed it. Wait for and it. Now they put out a statement saying that's not true. Yeah. We don't push any specific agenda. We don't do that. And it's like, are you sure about that, Ubisoft? I mean, I could just scratch the surface of the shit that they've been doing with just a couple of posts. We can just take a quick look at what everybody's talking about. Yeah. Just in time with Assassin's Creed Shadows delay. Our goal is to not push any agenda. Makes AC Valhalla gay censor the possibility of having a child in Assassin's Creed Odyssey to not offend the minority and add non-binary characters to Rainbow Six. They have a character in a wheelchair coming yeah. to Rainbow Six. Oh yeah, that was like a wheelchair operator. So people were like, damn, so wheelchair operator? Like what? Like what are we talking about, man? Like, yeah, that was like, a, there, were, there were a lot of memes and people were going crazy. I remember that. Fun times, guys. Fun times. Crazy indeed. Crazy indeed. Uh, this is, well, I'm going to go over this in a, sec in a second, but there's a couple of things here that I thought were worth highlighting. Uh, here's an uh, old John of Trent article, Assassin's Creed Shadows, Ubisoft hires uh, LBGTQ plus activist as consultant who wants to challenge moral standards around transgenerational sex. I was talking about this person. That's the Japanese literature and culture professor that Ubisoft hired as one of their consultants. They got a couple, and they're all activists. All of them are activists. Yeah, this is the woman that's into, like, weird sex studies. This isn't even all of them. She does a, a lot of research, and it's around, like, sex stuff. Kind of an odd person to get as a historical advisor for a video game. I'm pretty sure there's other people that are more qualified, but you pick this person, probably specifically this person, for what they actually research. It kind of shows you what they really care about. Uh, here's yeah. another one. Uh, that, that was a wrong meme. That that meme is relevant on this uh, this news right here that they delayed the game, but irrelevant meme for this current situation. Uh, this is from Ubi Ubi Ubisoft Montreal, talking about <laughs> uh, getting specific writers for their characters. This one. Uh, this is the... This is the other Japanese consultant that's not even from Japan that worked for Sweet Baby that went to the New York Times. Guys, uh, real quick, I have to... I have to apologize on their behalf, man. I... I, yeah, I I have to apologize because I'm I'm also in Montreal. Sorry, guys. I'm I'm sorry. I, I I bro, like when I came here, it was not like that. When I came here, Ubisoft was actually good, and they stayed good for a decade. I, I should say. I apologize on their behalf, guys. Trust me. Take my apology, guys. Take it all. Take it. Take my apology. Take my apology, man. Like uh, damn, man. On behalf of like all of us here in Montreal. We apologize on their behalf, okay? That's what I should have said, but, uh... Okay, let's, uh, let's see what else and happened, man. And then don't even forget about John Lockley, that weirdo communist who they got. It's kind of funny how all the consultants... Uh, for context, that Lockley guy is the is the guy that, like, fake stuff about Yasuke being a samurai and other stuff, right? Uh, so Ubisoft made, like, this game, Assassin's Creed uh, Shadows, and they're saying legendary Captain BBC Samurai, be the legend Captain BBC Samurai, play as the legendary Captain BBC Samurai in Assassin's Creed. Bruh. That's what Ubisoft have been saying, right? Like, allegedly. Uh, so they're, they're, they're calling him legendary Captain BBC Samurai. Uh, like, yeah, you can play as a Captain BBC in this game, so crazy situation, man, crazy situation, and apparently it was all made up by Thomas Lockley, apparently we found out that he was not a samurai, and we found out that he was not gay in real life, now listen, man, these like is crazy, they always look at black people and they make them gay in the game, oh, what the hell? What the y'all suck is crazy? Y'all, y'all, you guys always do that to black people, man, you all, you see a black people and you're like, that, that person gay? Why? What the hell? If Yasuke was gay in real life, then it makes sense. 
Okay, that makes sense to make him in the game. But he was not. And Ubisoft was like, nah, bro, he gay. Uh, he black, so he automatically gay. Bro, it don't even make sense, though. Like, why y'all suckers doing that? Yeah, again, if he was in real life, then surely makes sense. B guys, what? Uh, listen, Yasuke is a real person. He was a real person who was not gay, who was not a samurai, is what we're hearing. That's not my opinion. That's what's being reported, okay, by a bunch of Japanese... Uh, uh, people as well they have been putting like receipts like you, you know what i'm saying like they have been putting like receipts like like and they're going through tech, 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 and all that and yeah they they discovered the fact that there was zero mention of him being a samurai so thomas lockley's making up a bunch of paid consultants by assassins uh, uh ubisoft on assassin's creed are saying he was a samurai but we're learning he was not he was not right and it's okay not everybody's a samurai i i'm not a samurai okay i don't think uh, i could be wrong but during that time like i don't think any brown guy was also a samurai like and some of you guys don't believe i'm brown here you go here you go man damn right of course it's the lighting but uh still like people don't believe it i'm a, I'm a brown man can a brown man perhaps get its representation too because these suckers are openly racist towards white people they always say white people bad right uh gamers deserve to die they also say that like entire like all the gamers right they say that gamers gamers are toxic gamers are manipulative and uh, to black people they auto they always make black people gay they always use lgbt people as shields as well to them brown people don't even exist bro like and i'm just saying bro like damn like damn y'all think like, it's crazy bro where my representation at where my representation at as a brown man i demand my representation man Where's my representation? Uh, by the way, I'm joking around. I'm not dying to get representation, okay? Trust me. I don't need representation. Unless it makes sense. Unless it's logical. Unless it makes sense. Then, absolutely, right? And of course, they're openly racist towards the Asian people as well. Ubisoft, like, bro, like, they got a complete deal. Whenever you go to all-you-can-eat sushi, right? You, you pay, like, you know, the entry price. Like, sometimes, uh, last time I went with my homies that was a couple of years ago so it should be higher but last time i remember all you can eat food right you pay 35 it was 35 bucks i remember i'm not sure how much it would be right now probably would be higher but i remember like a couple of years ago when i went out with my homies right Bruh. yeah a couple of years ago now nah, i mean up uh, uh, to all you can eat sushi uh, shit like that okay so 35 dollars so ubisoft is like you know what like pay us 70 dollars and we're gonna openly be racist to everybody <laughs> Man, this thing is crazy, and now they're delaying the game as well. Go figure. And they made this game based off of Wikipedia and Thomas Lockley as a source. And Thomas Lockley is one of those guys that, like, uh, whenever he's in Japan and he's doing an interview while being in Japan, and whenever they ask him the question, was Yasuke a samurai? He's always like, um... We don't have enough evidence. Maybe he was, maybe he wasn't. Whenever he's in America, he's like, yes, he was a samurai! He was a samurai! He was a samurai! <laughs> Yo, bro, that, that was actually reported. Of course, I'm like exaggerating a little bit here with the expressions and the way I'm talking right now. Of course, I'm exaggerating. But, but like, he, yeah, that, that, that piece of news was reported. So that's not my opinion. I want you guys to understand that's not my opinion. I'm, sim I'm simply covering the news. It, this is Comedy Central, bro. It is absolutely clownery. Damn, Chokeslam right there. Yeah, this would be, uh, damn, when this game came out? Because this would, any, any of you know when this game came out? Because nowadays you cannot do that in video game, right? Damn, this is, this is crazy right now. Damn, sheesh. Yo, she definitely strong independent, though. That they got for Assassin's Creed Shadows have specific things that they're that they're big advocates and activists for. Mm -hmm. And just go get some amazing researcher in history, yeah. old dude or whatever that focuses completely on that area of history that they were trying to do. No, they had to get all kinds of advocates and, and stuff like that. Those were the consultants that they picked. And there's a reason mm -hmm. they did that. Then you had the yeah, most yeah. recent thing when they announced their mentorship program and specifically exclude men. Like, if you're a if you're a cis het man, don't apply. But yeah, sure, Ubisoft, there's no agenda that you're pushing. I don't... I... That, that's absolute insanity. Like, Ubisoft is breaking, like, literally everything. This article talks about Ubisoft, a legal analyst asserts that Ubisoft is breaking the law with its mentorship program that excludes men. Men. It, it, it's, bruh, like, you cannot say... You cannot spell mentorship without men. 
<laughs> what, what are you talking And listen, I believe like the queens deserve equal rights. Oh, hell yeah. Absolutely, bro. Yes, I love my queens out there. I love my beautiful, strong, yeah, independent queens out there. But like, damn, damn. What are we talking about? And okay, forget about it, right? Like, forget about it for a second. Okay, let's buy their bull squash, okay? No men allowed. That's what they said. No men allowed in their mentorship. Okay, no men allowed. But they also say if you identify yourself as a female. Now, I'm I'm thinking about this. This is like a hard-hitting question, okay? This might be a hard-hitting question, okay? What if you're a woman that is identifying yourself as a man, though? See, we got a problem here, Ubisoft. All right, so that means that you're not gonna let her work then? Because she identifying as a man, so you're not gonna let her or him work at your company? See, it don't make sense. It really don't make sense. I, I guess they said non-binary, so yeah, I guess uh, it would make sense. Yeah, I guess you can still work. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. You're right, you're right, you're right. I, I don't see it anywhere. And they know bad, that they're getting bad. a bad rep, and it's hurting their bottom line. They've probably had the worst year, I think, out of any company, maybe even Sony. And I understand Sony lost a lot of money, yeah, but Sony only million. has really taken one L this year, and that was Concord. They've had a lot of wins. Uh, Ubisoft has had nothing but Ls all year. All year. And uh, they, they add that they're going to review the company uh, to improve yeah. their execution. What's that, Ubisoft? You're going to just hide it better? Is that the plan, just hide it a little bit better? Here's the actual statement that they put out. Ow. Uh, this was a note to investors uh, from their CEO. Of course, our of second course. quarter performance fell short of our expectations, prompting us to address this swiftly and firmly with an even greater... Fell short of our expectations. I think it, it, it just completely went underground like 10 miles deep, bro. <laughs> what are we talking about, man? It went 10 miles deeper, bruh. Like Focus on a player-centric, gameplay-first approach and an unwavering commitment to the long-term value of our brands. Although the tangible benefits of the company's transformation are taking longer than anticipated to materialize, we keep on our strategy focusing on two key verticals, open adventure worlds and gas native experiences. G-A-A, G-A-A-S, I don't know what that stands for. It's probably a internal company motto, yeah, maybe, or something. I don't know what's that. With the objective to drive growth, reoccurrence, and robust free cash flow generation in our business, in the light of recent challenges, we acknowledge the need for greater efficiency by delighting players. As a result... Beyond the first important short-term actions undertaken, the executive committee under the supervision of the board of directors is launching a review aimed at further improving our execution, notably oh, wow. in this player-centric approach and accelerating our strategic path towards a higher-performing model to the benefit of our stakeholders and shareholders. Finally, let me address some of the polarized comments around Ubisoft lately. I want to reaffirm that we are entertainment-first company, creating games Bruh. for the broadest possible audience. Yeah. Our goal is not to push any specific agenda. <laughs> we remain committed to creating games for fans and players that everyone can enjoy. Okay, uh, we gotta laugh and sing, guys. We gotta laugh and sing right now, man. We gotta laugh. <laughs> we gotta laugh and sing. This is the biggest cap ever. What the hell? You're not pushing an agenda. We gotta make the game for, they said, the broadest possible audience. So this is how, like, where is that? 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 Okay, I, I posted that as well, right? Yeah. Yeah, if you guys if you guys have Twitter, I would definitely love to have you there, okay? I would definitely love to have you. Okay, let's see what you guys are saying. So, the, the, I just posted that over on Twitter, so you guys are... Let me just... Uh, before and none, my guys said. Okay, let me like that real quick. The homie Jason from GTA 6 is saying, Yikes! I hope GTA 6 is not like that, man. If GTA 6 is woke, man, I guess it's over at that point. It's funny how Ghost of Tsushima sequel was announced yesterday. Next day, they delay Assassin's Creed for three months, for three months. Three months! Three months! But here's the thing, right now, I'm not sure you guys heard this or not but there's drama surrounding the uh ghost of tsushima voice actress as well or the actual actress as well she blocking everybody and uh she got linked with sweet baby ink as well oh, people are discovering maybe that's gonna be a topic for like a different video but here's the thing though i i like i said previously right if ghost of yore turns out to be a good game uh and if it's like not pushing an agenda then i guess it's fine but of course like a lot of people are are talking about this right there's a clear shift in terms of what's happening in video games, right? Like, there's a clear shift in terms to demasculate men, right? And they, of course, like, you just saw what happened with Ubisoft, right? With that mentorship program, no men allowed. So there's a clear agenda that's being pushed towards, like, hey, men, men bad, men toxic, men problematic. I mean, damn, like, as a man, bro, I think, like, yeah, equal rights for the beautiful, strong, independent queens, too. Yes, man, like, yes, yeah, shout out to the queens. We love Tomb Raider. This is, we love this game, right? Like, we definitely want strong, strong, strong queens in the games. But like, but not at the expense of you guys kicking the, the, 
the the dudes down in their balls and the saying men toxic men problematic what are you talking i mean damn man this suck is crazy bro i swear to god this suck is crazy man but there's a whole lot of drama with that as well because uh, yes we may be affiliation with the actress not necessarily sure not sure if it's if it is with the game or not i guess it would be perhaps i don't know man but listen if it turns out because the game is set in 1608 if it turns out that they're not pushing an agenda and it's like historically accurate uh, and it's actually you know uh, paying respect to the actual person it because i don't have all the details because here's the thing yasuke was a real person and ubisoft i mean listen man like this is insanely disrespectful as to what they've done to yasuke's the real yasuke that is no longer with us he cannot come down here and defend himself my guy so it's insanely disrespectful to make a dead man gay in the game when he was not and also to say things about him that that he was not it's insanely disrespectful it's like one thing for a man on the streets to say but it's completely another thing when a billion dollar company with the funds and with the actual like you know japanese uh they they say that they got the japanese uh uh, like the historians right to write their games or fact check them right when you have all the money in the world and you got the fact checkers out there it's insanely disrespectful to do what they done okay like damn i'm gonna be upfront i'm gonna be real with y'all okay but if it turns out that ghost of tsushima is like really really about like this real uh female samurai that existed in 1608 then yeah maybe okay let's see so you mean white girls are more attractive than brown girls uh key west looks great stop trying to fit uh, in the racist white cult of anti-war gamers okay well so let me okay my brother it's fine we're gonna let you be man oh uh, yeah shot it yeah 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 a nice little legalese statement here not really denouncing or saying that they're gonna keep going forward with anything but uh they're trying to stop people from panicking keep in mind that their stock has been tanking like their stock is in bad shape they got people urging them to go private all kinds of shit this company yeah i think is in deep shit uh there's some really bad shit going on with ubisoft and they're trying to put out the fire now and it's like i don't believe you all the steps you've taken over the past year or two have been full of agenda full of agenda you live to push agenda and i think the cash is running out you've had a huge year of L's. and there's something in here that i thought was pretty interesting the tangible benefits of the company's transformation are taking longer than anticipated to materialize oh what's that mean oh you thought that that modern audience was going to show up and really boost yeah. you guys into profitability and they're not so now you're stuck with your hand out wondering what the hell happened mm -mm. oh too bad you guys just gotta make games for the gamers that's what it comes down to and guys do not watch this video do not watch this video what happened recently insanity i don't think you guys would be able to handle it what i'm trying to say here is that check out the video guys check out the video and i'll see you right there if you already seen it then check out the video on the left man